It's a global pandemic. both creates and adds to poverty. Its stigma alone can be deadly. In the midst of HIV and AIDS destruction, countless agencies, organizations, and individuals labor to loosen the disease's grip on communities across the world. As an institution, the Catholic Church is one of the largest and arguably one of the most effective organizations in the struggle. It cares for one in four people living with HIV around the world. Yet much of its work is unknown and often misunderstood. What makes the Catholic Church so uniquely suited to respond to what many consider the public health challenge of our time? This is the final segment of a series about the Catholic Church and its response to the pandemic. The Catholic Church has declared that solidarity with people living with HIV is not an optional outreach, but at the core of its tradition. Its work around the world reflects that imperative. Its presence in urban centers and rural areas, its deep roots within communities, its long-established networks of health care facilities, schools, orphanages, and parishes, its influence on the local and international levels, all converge to make the Catholic Church a formidable partner in the struggle against the HIV pandemic. It's been a real miracle to me to see how um, generous the church has been, how generous these um, uh, individuals have been, because I think that that's what's really gonna, gonna strengthen the fabric of these communities and restore health. It's restoring health in an individual, but collectively the communities health is being restored and the family's health is being restored. So um, I've been really impressed with the uh, generosity, the commitment um, on the part of the church. Perhaps the Catholic Church's greatest strength is the church itself, that is, the people, the faithful members who serve as mentors, teachers, volunteers, caregivers, who are themselves examples of living positively providing and receiving the support that gives rise to hope and dignity. I think that we come to uh, care and support for people living with HIV or orphans and vulnerable children that are affected by HIV and AIDS from some real strengths. Uh, the church first and foremost has been there before the epidemic started. They're there now reaching out to people who are in need of these kinds of services and they're going to be there long after other public funding um, dries up or uh, becomes um, um, another issue becomes the issue du jour. The Catholic Church is incredibly important in the fight against HIV AIDS. Anywhere you go across the world, in any country, there will be a Catholic Church, there will be faith members. We're able to work together through parishes, through dioceses, um, through faith-based hospitals. This is probably the most unique part of the church's response to AIDS. It accompanies people spiritually, helps them understand that in spite of their terrible suffering and illness and loss, that God still loves them, that God gives them a unique dignity. Uh, so there's that strength of having been there, being there present now, and being there into the future. And there is hope, because these ones are going to live longer. And longer. I hope to stay long. <laughs>